So hello and good evening, this is Ruth from Curval.com and today is time again for the DAX Fridays and we are going to do part 3 of how to create a DAX measure. In this video we are actually going to optimize even more the measures that we created in previous videos. I'm going to explain you here what we did in part, video, part 1 and part 2 but I really recommend you to go and watch it to really uh, grasp and understand what I'm going to say in this video. But uh, let's begin. Okay, so we are actually using the North Wind data set. It's a data set that we always use on DAX Fridays. More details in the description below. But um, what we're going to do is calculate the average number of product categories per customer. So how many product categories a customer buy. And then we're going to do the average for all customers. Okay, so I'll show you how to create that measure and then we optimize it a little bit and uh, there was a small trick, let me show you. Here we are in the Power BI file that uh, I use as an example and um, here are the calculations that we have done. We have done summarized, summarized without columns, uh, you can see them up there, summarize and then we have done summarized without columns to improve performance. Then we have done uh, summarize without columns and with calculate to make the grand totals work. And on video two, we actually do average uh, x and average x with calculate, okay, to also get the right totals. But for these measures to work, I'll show you on the previous video, you have to have this um, relationship set to both. If we set it to single, you will see that. all our measures break, okay? And I explained why in the previous video, so go there and watch it. But what we are going to do is we're actually modified both the summarize and the average calculations, so they work without this activating the both relationships. And if you have a small models, having both relationships is not an issue. If you have big models, it is. You don't want to have those tables filtering all the time, you know? So, I will show you how to do this. Uh, let's start with summarize. Let me see with summarize. We have it here. Okay, so let's create the new DAX measure that will actually work without setting the double filters. Let's call it uh, summarize with cross filters and what we need to do is to actually pass um, the cross filter to the calculate function so basically when this is evaluating so when this is being calculated the distinct count of products category ID this is when the relationship needs to be activated okay so we will go in there and now oh, What's going on? Uh, and now we write cross filter and then product ID. I'm going to show you why I'm doing this uh, in a second, but let me write it first. Uh, product ID from products. And then we are going to set the relationship to both. I have a video explaining cross filter, so make sure you go and check it out. But what this basically does is says uh, set both relationships between order details product ID and product product ID. So um, probably some parentheses. We add it to our calculation, as you can see, now it's working perfectly, even though the relationship is not on. So what we've basically done is we activate, CrossBuilder activates this relationship as double when it needs to, which is basically when it's doing the count, the distinct count 
for uh, the category ID and then when it needs to put it together with the order so uh, it is like super easy right and this is the more efficient way to do it if you want to do it in the average X calculation you do exactly the same thing let's copy it first go here new measure here we write with cross filter and then again this calculates needs to have the cross join ouch cross filter sorry and then product ID from order table and product ID from the product table and then we want to set that relationship as both it is single now so we want to say that and then if we add that to our table magic is happening so basically we're saying order details product id and products product id which is this relationship here set it to both when doing the calculation and not all the time as it would be we would set this uh, here so easy right So now we have covered all the three scenarios. So part one, you summarize some night columns to calculate it. The part two, use average uh, instead of using summarize to do the same calculation. And part three is to create the calculations without bidirectional relationships. So hopefully this explains a few concepts. Um, and uh, this is all for today. So have a great Friday and I'll see you again, perhaps on Monday. I'm on a mini vacation. I'll try to do the video anyway. So have a great evening. Bye.